Welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm just going to show you how you can render your YouTube videos if you make any in high definition quality with using Camtasia Studio and QuickTime. And many videos have already been um, like this and I've seen a lot of those videos. And I actually learned this like a, one and a half years ago by this guy named Ben or Bob Miller. So I never thought about making a video about it. First, you'll actually need Camtasia Studio. Um, uh, this isn't it either. Let's go back. And I'll have the link in the description. You can download Camtasia Studio 6 or you can find, try to find Camtasia Studio 5. Um, yeah, I just want to click download now. It's a 37.33 megabyte file. Click save the f save file. Um, you can save it to your desktop or wherever. And then just run the installer and click next, next, next. And uh, the actual to download QuickTime is basically the same thing, just a little bit different. Um, actually, let me just go back here. Try again. Okay. So they try to get you to download iTunes with it, so watch this out. And a lot of uh, installers do the same thing, like CCleaner right here tries to um, get you into downloading Yahoo Toolbar. But you just want to click the radio uh, selection of for Windows XP or Vista, so um, pretty much anyone, or X and the Mac, it already comes with it, I believe. And then you just want to uncheck this unless you want to uh, sign up for free weekly new music Tuesday subscription and uh, updates. You don't even have to input your email address so they don't spam you. Just click free download now, load up a page, and you can save the file with like the same thing um, on Camtasia Studio. Now one tip and quick tip here though, um, do not run the installer at the same, ta same time. It will bog down your system and um, there's a high chance of both of them not installing correctly. Anyway, after, um, if you already have it, made it a new video or something, um, and I don't, I actually am using Camtasia Studio 5, I do have Camtasia Studio 6, I just like 5 better. And after you have the video, you just want to like drag it into the storyboard, actually, let's do this again, ah, okay then. Anyways, um, first of all, import your media or uh, what are we gonna get? I have a HD test here ready. Drag it in, and I actually have a preset, but you, you probably don't. And just choose whatever. After you made all your changes and editing, editing, um, if you want a tutorial on how to use this a little, then just uh, comment or PM me. Um, then you just want to click produce video as some people use batch production. You can also use that um, I'm just going to click produce video as you just want to click um, the first one not custom production settings production presets and click manage new and then you can make a new preset so every time you make a video you have an option of HD and when in Camtasia Studio 6, I, I think they already have a HD preset, so. But anyway, you can just type in YouTube HD or something. This HD, and then you want to click the MOV QuickTime Movie file. That is why we um, downloaded QuickTime Player. Um, and yeah, you can name it whatever you want, just make sure it's HD. Because now you'll have it saved, all your options. You want to click QuickTime Options, go to Settings. You want the compression type to be H.264. Uh, frame rate, you can do current, uh, actually not, 29.97, depending on your region. I think if you're in the United Kingdom or something, it has to be 30. Um, keyframes, you can actually put automatic, you can put all, or you can put every 30 frames. Um, I'm just going to click automatic for the sake of the video, but you can also put every 30 frames if you want. In fact, I'm going to put that in right now. Um, I'm going to, for the compressor, the quality, you want it to be the best quality you can be. Um, 
most people most people use faster encode single pass because it's faster encoding or you can just get best quality but the quality is still good if you put faster encode um let's sit here okay now for sound uh you just want to click the settings again make sure it's mpeg4 audio uh, make sure it's 48 kilohertz so 48.000 make sure it's 16 bit and stereo uh, even if you recorded in mono so the best options possible okay click next custom size you want this to be um, HD which is 1280 by 720 and you can choose any background color but black is um, proficient click next you can include a watermark um, you just can, uh, click options and then click here to browse and upload it or not upload it just use one you can change the position and the uh, opacity or basically how much it's fades and how dark it is um, I'm not gonna really do anything here. Um, you can add a uh, yeah. And just click finish, and yeah, there you go. You made that preset. Close, and then you can actually click this little arrow and actually find that preset that you made. HD, and then just click next, and then you're already down to the original page so every time you want to make an HD video you can just do that test and save it to my desktop because it's just easier to access um, I usually show the production settings click next and finish it will render it and encode it um, I'm just gonna pause this video for the time it's finished it turned out to be 2.23 megabytes um, so yeah, it uh, takes a quite a while to render if it's an actual video, so be warned about that. If you don't have much time, do not render it in HD, because it's really high quality, that's why it takes so long. I just click finish, and uh, I'll just see here, let's just test this uh, file. Test it out. Er, right click, open. Let's test out your video and QuickTime Player it is 1280 by 720 and my screen isn't even that big. So if you want to just preview it, you can just click view and click fit to screen and then you can play it. So that was it for this tutorial. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So um, please rate this video five stars if you liked it, comment, good feedback and constructive uh, criticism and uh, share this video with your friends who would, you would know that they would also like this subject and topic that we discussed and please subscribe it's just a gold slash yellow slash orange button onto the right see you guys later uh, thanks for watching and peace out